Hey friends, so we finally got our water back yesterday on power after not having it for five days. And we are one of the very, 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 very lucky ones. We've been definitely blessed, we're all safe, nothing ever bad happened other than losing power, which a lot of people still don't have power. I'm not gonna talk about it too much. There are some TikToks that I reposted and stuff. You can find a lot about that because I'm not trying to monetize on other people's tragedies, but I'm definitely thinking constantly and praying. There is power in prayer. I know people will say like, oh, there go your thoughts and prayers again. Like, no, there is definitely power in prayer. So I'm definitely thinking of everyone affected here in Western North Carolina. And there also have been areas in Eastern Tennessee that got hit really hard. Anna Maria Island, Davis Island, Tampa, Georgia, parts of South Carolina. Keep those people in your thoughts and prayers because it's just, it's absolutely devastating to see what's going on. Today is our anniversary. 14 year wedding anniversary and we finally got power yesterday so we also got running water back we've been doing like makeshift showers and stuff and flushing the toilet with creek water but we have like bottled water for washing our face washing our teeth and stuff and then i would do hot kettle water and we do like makeshift quick showers but i didn't really wash my hair for a good five days but i did take out my tape and extensions yesterday and i did a whole hair mask and i think i'm going to do one more mask one more time today and then wash it out and take like a nice a nice shower but two products that I have been really loving to help revive the hair the first one is the Alterna caviar anti-aging 3-in-1 healing serum I actually got this during Ulta's 21 days of beauty for 50% off I got two more shampoos and a conditioner from them as well but I haven't opened them yet because I still have some other ones that I'm using I have the Blake Braun ones and then Divi also sent me some Divi sent me their volumizing shampoo and conditioner for fine thin hair they do have ones for I think medium thick hair I obviously have fine thin hair so I've been using these and they have like that pepperminty, spearminty, rosemary oil type scent to them. It feels so cooling on the scalp. Great ingredients and Divi has a really, really good hair serum. If you're looking to incorporate a hair serum into your routine, this is definitely one of my favorites. So I love the serum. I do like the shampoo and conditioner wash my hair and it felt you know nice and refreshing and clean they also sent me their whipped repair treatment mask and you can get all of these on alta or on the divi website and it is a whipped mask it has that same spearminty rosemary mint scent to it very invigorating and i've been loving combining these two especially for my extensions but if your hair is like, damaged or dry and using these two as a mask this right here this stuff is amazing on its own. This is a 100% a product that I will repurchase at full price if I run out of it before they have another sale by next year. I saw an immediate difference in my extensions when I applied it on them when they were dry. It is like an oily serum, so it's clear, it's a serum, it's runny, but it's also oily and greasy. So I wasn't sure how it would work on, you know, fine thin hair, but I used it today and I feel like it didn't weigh my hair down or anything. I was very light-handed with it, just kind of applied it to the ends. And I feel like I would purchase this over the Olaplex one for sure. Like if I had to choose one or the other, definitely would buy this again. It has like a, not like a floral, but like a botanical scent to it. it kind of reminds me of something. It's not my favorite, favorite scent. Like it's not like an upscale, like the Blake Brown line is completely different, but it still smells nice and it's amazing. Like it truly is so amazing. I've been using it on my extensions mainly and they were like beyond ready to come out they were so dry there from amazon and it really helped keep them nice and soft so i feel like this is just it's truly it has been a miracle product in my humble experience it's really important to take care of your scalp because that is where your hair grows out of so whether you're using a scalp serum or minoxidil which i've been using for the past couple months on and off i just haven't been as consistent with it this is a studied ingredient that works minoxidil 5% and this is the foam one so it's easy to use this is mainly if you have like genetic hair loss which I do have genetic hair loss in my family both sides actually wonderful and I already have fine thin hair so you want to make sure you take care of the scalp if you don't want to use minoxidil because it's like a chemical then scalp serums honestly I think are a really really great option I have seen a difference but then you also want to make sure you're taking care of the mid length to ends because all that breakage can make your hair look stringy and you're growing it out for no reason because then it just ends up breaking off and it looks thinner on the ends so you want to make sure that you're doing both so for me it's been minoxidil recently I started hair serums for the past couple of years I've always been using one and then mid length to ends I highly recommend finding something that can treat whether you have broken hair, damaged hair, dry hair, colored hair, whatever. This, highly recommend trying it out. And then I've tried a few different masks. I do like this one. Keep trying it out though and we'll see. So I'm gonna apply this right now. I'm gonna grab some of this into my palm. It's like a thicker whipped, it smells really, really nice and refreshing. But I'm gonna take a bunch of that and then do a few pumps of this caviar serum and distribute it through my hair. Like lather it on, mainly on the mid length to ends. 
and I'm gonna let that sit for maybe like an hour because I did use it overnight I don't apply it to my scalp overnight I didn't want to like clog it up but I did apply it to my mid length to ends just to like really treat them just using a few more pumps of the caviar serum and running it through just the ends before I go ahead and I think I'm just gonna put it in like a claw clip situation I'm gonna twist it leave it in for about an hour or so I shampoo twice with the Divi shampoo just to make sure my hair is not greasy because it is finer and thinner so anytime I do a hair treatment mask I have to shampoo twice I highly recommend you do that as well just so it's not weighed down because then it's gonna feel like you didn't wash your hair at all I usually wrap it up in this hair towel here this is like a lighter smaller hair towel specifically for hair and it helps get all of the moisture out of the hair Hair, kind of like towel drying it that way you're not damaging it weighing it down anything like that so it's been in here for about half a minute half a minute half an hour I would say now would be a perfect time to use a hair serum if you are using one again I think they're a great addition to a scalp routine when it comes to post shower hair care routine I do feel like this is one of the most important steps if you want volume for fine thin hair so throughout the years I've definitely tried my fair share of different hair care products and I do kind of switch them different things like I'll use root sprays, different thickening sprays, volumizing products, all of that. Lately I have been loving a mousse because a mousse kind of acts as an all-in-one. So I have this one from Blake Brown, it's the Glam Mousse. I'll do a pump of this throughout the hair and it acts as a volumizing product so it adds volume to the hair. It actually does something. It doesn't leave my hair feeling crunchy. Like mousses nowadays are not the same as mousses 10, 15, 20 years ago, like they've definitely come a long way. My hair still feels very, very soft and manageable, but it has like lift at the roots, so it kind of acts as a root lifter. I do have a root lifter spray that I like to use as well, but any sort of volumizing product, whatever you prefer, whether it's a spray that helps thicken the hair, the only thing with those is those can sometimes leave your hair feeling dry because they're very alcohol based, so I'd be careful with those, but anything to kind of add some oomph to the hair, this right now has been my favorite, like I said, because it just acts as an all-in-one. It smells nice, it works really great, so this is kind of the only thing that I use for the hair. Sometimes I'll go back and forth, but right now this just has been amazing. So I'll do like a golf ball size of that and distribute it through the hair, mainly through the crown area, and then kind of bring it towards the ends. And I have tried the Color Wow Bombshell Volumizer, and I did like it, but I feel like that didn't add enough, enough oomph to my hair. I liked it because it was so weightless like it was truly so weightless but it didn't really do much for the hair in terms of volume i know like the before and afters are so dramatic and i feel like they really missed on that one like it really just wasn't uh, and dry hair it did but on my wet hair i literally used up the whole bottle and i will not be repurchasing it i don't think it's the best mousse option out there if you love it, you know, everybody likes something different from me, I will not be repurchasing it. And then I'm going to finish off with this Caviar 3-in-1 Serum. If you have fine thin hair like I do, just use the tiniest amount. So I'm going to do one pump, and as you can tell, it is a clear serum formula. And then when you rub it in, you'll see that it has like this greasiness, oiliness to it. So you got to be very light-handed with this, so I'll rub it in between my palms. And then start off at the ends. This is where my ends can get kind of frizzy, and this is where breakage can happen. So like from mid to ends, if you're trying to grow out your hair, this is the part of your hair that you want to be taking care of. Using something like this is very, very beneficial, but you got to be very light-handed because if you overdo it, it can weigh the hair down, make it look greasy. The only thing that I didn't use right now is a leave-in conditioner that has heat protectant in it. I thought this had a heat protectant in it. I do have a heat protectant from L'Oreal. Let me go grab it. So is this one here ever pure? I had the Pureology one I think I tried. I think, is that the one? And the Redken, my sister loves the Redken one. This is essentially the exact same thing as the Pureology one for half the price, if not less. It has all the same benefits. It smells pretty good. I also have their blow dry primer, which is the same as the Redken one, but I don't use that as much because it doesn't really do much for my hair. But this is nice as a leave-in conditioner. I'd probably use this first before the mousse and before the sealing serum. So I'm just gonna spritz a little bit throughout the hair, like four spritz. And then this is nice because you want to make sure you're protecting your hair if you are using heat. I think I'm just going to use my Shark Flex style, the rush attachment, we'll see. Then I'll pop back on here. My hair still feels really soft and manageable. This hairstyle, I'm going to kind of like keep playing around with it. But these are just some products I've been loving. Scalp Health, the Divi Serum, the Hair Mask, this product in particular, and then Volumizing Mousse, Leave-In Conditioner. I'll link them down below so you can easily shop them if you want to. Just to reiterate, you want to make sure you're taking care of your scalp taking care of your hair, mid to ends, and then also post shampoo using products that are good for your hair type if you're looking for volume. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Once again, keep those that are affected 
by the hurricane and the storm and your thoughts and prayers. Hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos. Back for a quick second because I wanted to squeeze this in and say that usually when my hair is this awkward length as it's growing out and I'm trying to grow my bangs and everything, I usually don't leave it down. Like if I don't have my extensions in, this is what I usually have it in, a claw clip. Just wanted to squeeze this information in here.